Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over formats and views. Before we get started, I wanted to make one quick announcement. Today, I launched my first course on marketplace.tutsplus.com. Under the tutorial section, it's a SaaS Mastery tutorial series. Now, if you've been following along with my SaaS tutorial series on Level Up Tuts, you might not learn a whole lot more than what you learned in that series. However, these videos are a little bit higher quality, the uh, video formatting, the text is a lot larger, and it comes with source code. So these videos are a little bit more in-depth, they're usually about 10 minutes a piece, and there's 10 of them. So if you like Level Up Tuts and you want to support and you want to check it out, it's only $8 to purchase the videos, and then uh, you can have them on your computer. So it's only $8. So like I said, if you've already watched the SaaS sessions on Level Up Tuts, then it, you know it's no big deal, but if you feel like supporting, you can throw down $8 and get these videos for yourself. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started with our views. Um, what we're going to do first is we're just going to delete this body field. And so I'm going to show you how to delete a field right now and also reorder them. So right next to your ad, if you notice there's this little downwards arrow, if you click this, it's going to give you some options. It's going to ask you if you want to rearrange them. So we'll click rearrange. And now you can rearrange your, your fields in the order that they'll appear in. And you can also remove them. We're just going to click remove here and remove this field body. And we'll just leave the post date and the content type and we'll just apply this to all of them okay so as you can see now we just have our title post date and type well let's get into formats then right now they're being outputted as an unformatted list right now they're being outputted as an unformatted list if we go to our home page let's refresh this or actually let's save this view so those those uh things take into effect okay if we check this out you can see that the source code has them in an unformatted list. They're just um, spans inside of divs. You know, all these have classes and everything, but it's not really anything special. Um, so if we edit our view, let's get out of inspect here too. So let's check out some of the other formats to see what we have. So we have a grid, we have an HTML list, which will output a UL with LIs. Uh, we have a jump menu, we have a table. So let's click table to see what it gives us. Okay, it's gonna ask us for some things. You know, where do we want them aligned? We'll just leave this all, you know, separate. You can fill this in at your leisure. Um, you can check whether it's sortable. Let's actually make these, make one of these sortable. We'll have the title sortable, leave it ascending, um, default sort, okay. So let's apply this to our display. And as you can see, it's now outputting them as a table. You can see the label is now up top, type label post date, and this one doesn't have a label because we turned it off, so let's turn it back on. Right here for fields, we'll click the title, and we'll just create label, and we'll just say title, just so we're gonna have it here in the table. Okay, so if you'll notice, this title here is actually uh, highlighted here because we selected that this field should allow you to sort it. So let's click this to see it sorting. And now it's sorting the other way. You know, you can click here. So if you want your table to be sortable, that's an easy feature in Drupal, uh, especially with views here. It's a one-click thing. So if we go to our settings under table, it's going to bring you back to these settings that you selected when you uh, first click table. So if you ever want to change anything, you want to make other things sortable, you can always come back here, click settings, and get to that stuff. Now you can sort by any of the fields. Um, so you can see this is really nice and easy, especially if you're going to be working with tabular data. So let's click table again to change it to something else. We're going to make it an HTML list. And we'll keep it as an unordered list. You can give it a class. You can give your list a class. You can give your rows a class. Uh, so it's all, all great things here. We save this. Let's inspect these because these are going to come out in the same way that they're going to be on the page. So what we have here, let's see if we can see this. A little bit better we have a div inside of an li our li is the entire little bit here so the li includes the title the created date and the field type all in that and they're just divs inside of there and then spans inside of that so i'd say if there's any downside to Drupal, it's that sometimes it adds sort of extraneous html elements to your code but it's not really a huge deal um, and you get to learn to get around that pretty quickly so let's check out a couple more 
uh, let's go to grid and grids really great if you have like a let's say you have a grid of images or something um, I know on the level up site we're going to be having a grid of the uh, image of the poster images that we're going to use for our tutorials so we'll be using a grid view to output those we'll keep it at four columns have it be horizontal fill up a single line add to this display so let's check it out so we only have two items in here um, however you can see they're coming in just like this Let's take off our filter here to make it be not just articles so we can see a little bit more. So if you'll notice, instead of clicking the rearrange, you can also click the content and in here you can just click remove. So both things are pretty much a, a two or three click process. So it's not too hard to do either. Um, I usually just do the rearrange, although that, you know, that's just as fast. So let's save this out and look at it on our page. So as you can see, uh, we now have a grid here. This actual grid is a little bit wider. You know, we might want to touch all this stuff up with our CSS. Of course, this views isn't really handling the style of anything. It's just sort of handling the output. So let's go back to our view and we'll go over some more things. So let's say we have, uh, let's see how many pieces of content. One, two, three, four, five. We have five pieces of content here and we only want three to show up, but we want there to be a pager. So let's go and let's set this to just be an unformatted list. We're just going to keep it like that for now um, and apply. So we want this to be a pager. So over here in our second column, you'll see that there's a pager setting. So if we see in this pager column, it's going to say use pager, display a specified number of items. This is not going to use our pager. It's just going to display, um, you know, that item and that's it. If we want a page to output, let's click full pager. Let's click apply to all displays. Okay, items to display. We're gonna to wanna to display only three before we have our pager. And you could have an offset, let's say if you wanted to start at the second one or something. Well, we're gonna leave that as zero. Okay, so let's just click apply. And even in our preview, you can see there's now a pager that says, you know, one page, two pages, next, last. Let's see what happens if we select not full and we select a mini pager. If we select this, we leave it all the same apply here and we go it's just going to have one of two and a next arrow let's save our view so you can see how that looks on our page as you can see it looks just like this we click the next arrow and it's going to have the rest of the content come in we go back here it is so that's cool but when we click this next you can see it's reloading the whole page it's appending this you know page one to our url what happens if we want to just ajax in the next content well Views makes it really easy for us to do that. So let's edit our view. In the advanced column, you'll see use Ajax. All it's gonna take is for you to click this and set it to yes, apply to all displays, let's save it. And you now have an Ajaxing pager in your view that can go through as much of your content as you'd like. Back and forth, URL stays the same, we're all good. Okay, well that's setting up a pager and changing your format in views. In the next lesson, I'm going to move away from views for one lesson just to show you something new. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, IMCE and IMCE Bridge to show you how to add an upload image field into your WYSIWYG. So this is different than the insert image that we did last time, and I'll go over the more specifics in that video. So once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.